All right, this is for uh, Coach JB. I must look like I'm a puppeteer here, but yeah, you know, I'm limited. Uh, <clears throat> Coach JB was uh, asking again about running into the field zone blitz, and uh, you know, I got I got to thinking about it a little bit, and uh, one of the things I was thinking about was moving the sniffer out to a, a sort of a tight end, sort of a tight wing type thing. Right, hang on one second. Just wanted to draw the rest of the defense in because uh, guys always draw up, you know, everything against a 4-2 and it all works. And then they do it an inside run and it all works. And then they get out there <laughs> and there's 11 on 11. And here comes a fitter just like coming out of nowhere and blapping you on the, on the line of scrimmage. But, uh, you know, just talking about moving this guy from the sniffer, the B gap, out to a C gap alignment or even a motion. Uh, we did quite a bit of this motion in to crack for for uh, our version of pin and pull, which was essentially the, uh, I'm going to try and hide my lips here, which was, I got to talk or else you won't hear me, uh, which was essentially, uh, you know, the Green Bay sweep. But what we were, what we were talking about last night is, you know, getting this center to the B gap. Okay, funneling or pinch hinging to the C gap, uh, and then go work in the C gap. Okay, and because this guard is pulling, and I'm going to just get him out of here. Okay, because this guard is pulling, uh, we're just moving everybody down one zone. So this guy is actually thinking far A gap, and he's thinking near A gap, and et cetera, and so on. Now, the, the question is this. Does he have to get there? Uh, does he have to skip to get to a double team and make a seal? And we always gave him the uh, the option, okay, if he thought that, that that guard had an inside shade, he could chip through. But in any event, he is working that way. He's working for the backside linebacker. And when the long stick shows, I'm going to put, put my cap on here, I'm going to lose it. When the long stick shows, I'm hoping that he would grab that, okay? And if, like we said last night, if he's chipping, if he's going to step, you know, gator step, come back, rock back, he ought to be able to grab that and give it a good ride. Okay, both of these guys ought to give ought to give the the long stick nose uh, end and the uh, crossover nose a good ride. Uh, you know, who uh, we talked about the center possibly squaring up and grabbing that thing if it gets driven. But basically the center's job is to just keep the three technique from rocking in. And when he sees the tackle grab this, he can get square to air and just do whatever he can to keep penetration controlled. Okay. We got to deliver this guard. And the guard uses skip technique. Okay. He's got to get deep and become like a fullback. And he wants to get as tight, as tight as he can to the read spot. Okay, now getting as tight as he can to the read spot, and I, I prefer the pistol. I learned it late, late in life, but it's easier for the tailback to mesh up with that guard. And if the guard has to slide a little bit, okay, it's easy for the tailback to stay on his inside uh, hip pocket. All right. And the question then from this angle, if the, if the end is still there, if there's any piece of the end, okay, the, the uh, sniffer is going to, going to knock it in. He's going to hammer it in and make sure that it gets defined and get it out of the way. And he's on a, he's on a course for the, for the uh, will. Okay. The question is this cat. Okay. If he jumps in front of the sniffer, we're, we're going to say to the sniffer, look, this guy is not here. But <laughs> if he jumps on your, into your course, you're not going to run by him. You're going you're gonna to grab his butt, and you've got to bring him to the read spot. So this whole thing gets walled off. But, you know, the math says you're going to this spot, you're pulling to this spot. And, of course, the quarterback – is controlling this cat right here. Okay. Now, uh, JB did, did mention something else, uh, a different defense. Okay.
And what he was saying is Sam and I, I think he was saying Rush are going to going to pinch, okay? And this is this is a tough defense. I mean, you wind up it winds up five down. When we saw this, when we saw a, a four a four down look with Sam on the line uh, in protection, we'd like to handle this five down. I'm not going to get into how we handle it, but it was basically five for five, okay? And if you have uh, if you have this sort of a thing, you know, you're you're playing against post safety. I mean, if they're going to bring both of these cats and keep these two guys in now, they could push. Uh, you know, you, they, people would push the will, push the mic, and walk to Sam and then play too high. Uh, you know, a little bit simpler. Uh, the numbers game is a little bit better. But again. <clears throat> In this case, the, the center would make an odd call, and he would call that that ta that guard to get his head in front of that, okay. And he would be working back, okay, and not and not in a hurry. To me, if he could chip back, great. If he couldn't, he would just say sweep, okay, and that would say to the guard that he's leaving immediately, okay. But in this in this odd spacing. In this odd spacing, I think he's got a chance to at least chip this, you know, even though he's got to come fairly flat. Again, he's got the B gap. Now, in practice, you want to run this guy through a few times just to let him know what's what, okay? Uh, but, again, he's going to funnel it, and then he's got he's got the C gap defender, all right, the tackle I'm talking about. He's going to funnel it to the center. And there's a You can see that little – space in there so the the further he can fuddle it the better it is now hopefully he's a big physical physical dude uh you know so he doesn't get run over and driven into the uh into the uh read spot but again that's that's all about fundamentals that's about coil and and all the things we talk about um make yourself into a rock so that this guy has no chance to use your body as a lever okay now that all that looks good, and, and it's the same old crap here. And what you're saying to the tackle, what I'm saying to the tackle is, look, you're going to step. You've got the front side A. You're going to step for that, and we'd like to get you here. But because there's nobody for you to double team, you go through the chip motion, and you should grab this thing. Now, the the big mistake that I th I see guys making all the time is they wind up deliberately locking that inside shade guy uh, with the tackle. And it's great if he can drive that thing this way, or if you're running some sort of bounce or if, or if the whole thing bounces, but if he can't move this guy, okay. If, if he can't change him, uh, and you're running bounce and you're, especially if you're, you know, you got to sort this whole thing out and you, you got to get that guard up on the linebacker and it, it's a pain in the butt. So in my mind, he wants to go through chip footwork, and he's got a better chance of when he grabs that uh, of of bringing it to the read spot, and that's that's an important thing. Now, this cat from from the the sniffer, he's trying to dig that out, and he might get picked. But from here, he's just got to outrun that salmon. And if they're if they're going to align that salmon, flatten him out, and beat this cat, he's got to grab it, and that's a pain in the butt. I would even consider. Uh, uh, letting it go and just getting to the second level because that's a read key and the quarterback should pull the ball. If you can seal the second level, and that's a practice thing, that's a coordinator thing, it's a quarterback thing, it's a whole bunch of things. But if you can seal that second level with the ball pulled, you're at the gate, okay? And, and I think the quarterback controlling this guy is a big deal, um, okay? He's he's going to go and scrape paint and make sure that this guy's defined. He might even wind up hammering him, okay? And that this cat has got to make sure that we're not running pin and pull because the whole thing, everybody's pulling and the whole thing comes around the edge. So I think he's got to stay, he's got to be cautious of not getting trapped in here. And if he blows it up, okay, uh, you know, that's a different story, but, but – um, to me, that's a that's a fairly easy exit angle for the for the uh, the sniffer, and uh, you know uh, if you can get that seal, you're in great shape. Now, the wrapper, the the wrap guard, 
It's all about how wide he has to go. Okay, uh, again, we tell him to get depth. Okay, his first two steps, he's closing the distance, but he's getting depth. And on the third step, he's making a decision. And if he's got enough depth, he's not going to get wadded up by any any leaks in this, you know, any anything like that. And he can even, if he wraps tight enough to the tackle who's taking this guy or trying to take him down. And, of course, the tackle's using a, a tear, okay, he's using his outside arm, and he's tearing this guy uh, as much as he can, okay. He might even be able to clean that up, okay. If this guy tries to meet him in the backfield, way in the backfield like that, and the quarterback has pulled the ball, it'll be a foot race here, okay, uh, between the quarterback and the uh, and the uh, the mic. But if if the um, if for, if this man, okay, happens to flash the mic. Okay, who steps up or whatever? If he goes this way, we we're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. We got we got to count on the wrapper. All right. So the problem will be getting that cat with the puller. Okay. And when you're getting into this defense right here, um, you know, it's with with these types of things. It's it's you know, it's, it's been a problem year in and year out and forever. Okay, when you're when you're getting this guy, but if he can meet that guard without going in front of that that fullback, you're probably playing Clemson or somebody like that, which is you know it's a tough road to hope. But uh, let, hang on a second. Once again, if the Sam gets that nosy, where he can be that that much of a, a factor, okay, <clears throat> if the ball's handed off, it's going to bounce, okay, and if it's pulled. Once again, we've got. I, I mean, I don't. I don't know enough about RPOs to, to know who's running what. I've seen a bunch of different things, but just two hitches might might do it. Um, you know, if the quarterback gets on the edge with with two receivers, and that guy is is looking around for the tailback or whatever, uh, he's got to press the quarterback. All right, he's just got to do it. And if we if the quarterback gets the ball in here, it, it's two on one. I think we're in good shape. Um, you know, and that, of course that depends on who your quarterback is. But if your if your quarterback can't do this stuff, you gotta you gotta bunch up and block it. I mean that's just the way it is. And uh, I was talking to a guy last night, and he's he's telling me about all the bunches and stuff. And I said, well, what about the add-ons? Don't the add-ons uh, give you a hard time? He says, nah, we're good. We have all these play-action passes. And that was in, oh, you got passes. Okay, so you're attacking you're attacking the add-ons as they come, um, you know, and uh, you know, I think that that is a you know it's a viable uh, you know the RPO is it makes this whole thing it just makes it so much better. Um, I like I said I kind of missed the art. We tried to do it, you know, stick routes, all that other stuff, but um, just we we weren't that far uh, ahead. You know, we're talking about almost I don't know. Hell, uh, last time I coached college football uh, was 15, so you know I'm sure a lot of things have changed. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's that's all I got to 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 do is or or what I talked wanted to talk about was move this guy out. Again, you could bring them in motion too. Okay, you could bring them from the outside, and uh, you know uh, we ran a pin and pull uh, or you know Green Bay sweep, and uh, against a five technique, he would be and this guy in motion uh, snap the ball, he'd deplete this cat, and this guy was never a factor. And if he just if he did did go flat enough, he'd deplete him too. Okay, we'd outnumber the defense, and so they got to think about other things other than stopping the power. So there we go.